What up guys, Fojo here, and today I'm coming to you with another New World video. This one's about the Artisan Jewel Crafter set, where to get it, how to find it, and the best way to go about doing that. But real quick, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would truly appreciate that, as well as hit the bell to let you know when new New World content comes out. And leave a comment if this helped you out. If you have a set you still need to see or want to know where it is, let me know in the comments. Also in the description we have a link to all the different sets of gear we've done so far for all the crafting. So make sure to go down there if you need help with finding any other crafting gear in the game. The Artisan Jewel Crafter set is a great set to have and can help you out immensely. Each piece of this set will be giving you a plus 2 Jewel Crafter crafted item quality. At the end of this you'll have a plus 10 to all of your Jewel Crafting which is super beneficial when trying to get those 600 pieces. But starting off, we will have the Artisan Jewel Crafter's Hood, which you will be finding with Putris, who is located in Reekwater by Lost Alchemist Crocs in the edge flow area right on the border of reek water to the west the spawn timer on this is not super great so it will take a little bit of time to farm this up but the nice thing about this one is that lost alchemist crocs also drops the engineer gloves so you have a chance at two different items here that could be useful for you but putris is a small alligator that spawns next to him and will be dropping the Artisan Jewel Crafter's Hood. This is a super easy solo farm, but it will take a little time because of the respawn rate. Now up next we have Ivan the Inevitable, and now Ivan is also super soloable, easy to do. There are also always a ton of people up here because this is a great place to farm for gypsum. So no matter what, there will be enough people here that you can take him out easily. But like I said, Ivan is an easy mob to fight, spawns fairly quickly, and is a super easy farm to get through because of the spawn rate and the amount of people that are in the area. So you should be able to get this Jewel Crafter's Tunic in no time. Now the third piece of the Jewel Crafter's set is the gloves and they will be coming from Palace Maiden Zhao, located in the Imperial Run in Ebon Scale Reach. She is definitely a mob you cannot solo, so you will need a group or go with the train or world tour going through here in order to kill her and get that drop. So make sure to catch those trains and those world tours, get in there and try and get a bunch of damage in to get a chance at these gloves. Next piece of the set will be the Jewel Crafter's Pants, and these will be getting obtained from a Georgian. A Georgian is an angry earth that is located in Eating Grove, just south of the Stained Bluffs. Not hard to fight at all, definitely a soloable mob. The spawn timer on him is also not terrible, so this is another one that is super simple to do, easy to repeat, and it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. You should be able to get the Jewel Crafter Pants fairly quickly and fairly easily. And now last up we have the Artisan Jewel Crafter Boots, and these come from the Terror of the Mountain. And now the Terror of the Mountain is a Yeti left over from the first winter event, and he is located very far north in Shattered Mountain. This is one where you will definitely need a ton of people to come and help. This is not a soloable farm whatsoever. The Terror of the Mountain is an elite mob, and in an area where people don't frequent. You would have to specifically get a farm together to come out here for this. And the problem with that is there's not really anything else worth farming in the cave or in this area. So people generally probably won't be for this unless you get a group together that is super interested. So these might be one you would look for on the market for the most part unless you can get a group together to come do this. This is by far the hardest piece to obtain in the set. It is just out of the way. People don't frequent it and it's a tough spot to try and get a farm going or to even get anyone out here at all. The new winter event may change that and make it easier to come out here and do that or there may be some changes to the way the yetis work who knows but for now this is a difficult piece to get from the set. Make sure to have a group and come out here and give it a shot if you really need that piece but the majority of the jewel crafter set is very very obtainable very easy to get most of it's soloable and easy to get except for that one piece up in the far north but overall well worth getting all those pieces and being able to craft 600 jewelry gets you the ability to make some good gold or the exact piece of jewelry that you need or want but thank you guys for listening to me talk about the jewel crafter set for a little bit if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel i would truly appreciate that as well as hit the bell to let you know when new videos come out and i have a link to all the different sets of gear that i've done so far for new world if you want to check those out they could help you out and finding these pieces for these sets but we'll have more videos out soon.
I hope to see you there.